Hey guys, this is RD Techie and welcome to another episode of Techie Tips. In this episode, it's going to be a short one. I'm just going to do a quick tip on how to do glow or drop shadow on GIMP 2.10 or 2.10 or 2.10. So I'll catch you guys on the other side of the intro. Right, now let's jump into the uh, editor. I have the, let me just close this because that's just a what? Discard. So I have one image tech which, uh, which I've just selected and uh, this is obviously the Twitch uh, bit uh, logo, uh, emote or whatever it is. It's the Twitch bit thing. It's the cheer thing. Okay. So I just wanted a random image on my computer and I had this one. So I just picked it up just for an example. So first things first, I am going to select the area around the image. There you go. That's good enough for me. And I'm going to just delete that. So now we have a, well, a kind of a neat, it's not very neat. Uh, if, it, if I wanted, I would just, I guess I'll just do that. Uh, I'm just gonna go oh, select, up the threshold a little bit. That's Much neater, okay. So, that's not, I mean, that's very simple. It's the select by area fuzzy select tool and you just increase the threshold. The more threshold you increase, the more it uh, selects. So if you increase it too much, it'll start selecting inside as well. So uh, that was just, uh, just to get rid of the background so you can see the shadow becoming a thing. So now I have a layer here. I'm going to start a new layer. Uh, I'm just going to go new layer and go outline. And then this layer is going to be above that so that uh, the outline's done. I'm going to click right click. And um, used to be you select alpha to selection. You go down here. You uh, hit drop filters and go to drop shadows and stuff, but now it's not like that. What how it works is a little different. What you need is uh, I have alpha to selection. I am gonna just do a quick. So I have a black one. If you look, just that's just the exact same thing under it. Now, what with 2.10, what they've done is you don't need to select the item. You just select the layer you want the um, glow or shadow to be on. So if you want the shadow to be on this thing, I don't want to mess with the main image. I want to, I had just added a shadow image is what I'd call it. Uh, and I'll just go to filters, lights and shadow and go to drop shadow. Now it's already got a drop shadow. I don't like the offset. You can play around with it an offset wise. See, you can change it around and it's linked. You can just make it not be linked if you want to change orientation but I tend to just go with zero zero and then you can have the blur radius the higher blur radius the less uh, the more spread you know things like that and then the opacity you can have it be very dark and then have a very weird shadow or just have it like I maximum I usually go to is one because you can see like artifacts coming up because the cutting is not perfect but um, if you want, around one is more than enough. But, and then you just select whatever you want changing and hit OK. Now, in case I don't want the shadow itself, uh, the problem is now I have to just delete the entire layer and then uh, I lose the shadow image. That's why I don't mess with the main image. I always create a shadow image to do the shadow. So. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you how to do the glow, which is pretty much exactly the same thing. I'm going to go reshow shadow or else you can go to lights, shadow and drop shadow. And then all you do here is again, I'm going to just change that to zero and then blur radius. I will up it a little bit and then the opacity, I will just go up that way and then you just change the color. So if you want a gr purple glow, glow, I'll just go to the purple side. And then there you go and then you change the blur radius or you change the opacity depending on what you want you can again like i said offset it but i'm happy with that i'll do it and then you just export it as a png as a jpeg or whatever you want to export it as if you want a transparent background always remember to export it as 
PNG. So I am gonna call that the end of the Techie Tips episode. This is a very short one. I had a friend <laughs> whose uh, YouTube thumbnail, uh, FPS Exile, if you haven't checked out his uh, channel, do check it out. His YouTube thumbnail was how to do, how do I put shadows on GIP? And I think they were using Adobe uh, Photoshop before and the transition is not an easy one. But I thought I'll just uh, do a general uh, tutorial because I too was confused from the change from 2.8 or 2.6 to 2.10. I had been using 2.6 or 2.8 for a long time. So to 2.10 was a pretty big leap. So, uh, but I'm happy with how they're doing it. I'm really happy happy with uh, 2.10 and I hope to do more tutorials along the same lines where I can just explain th things as I find out. If you have any more things I should be doing, uh, let me know and I'll make sure I get it done. So that's it for today. Hope you had a, well, I don't think you could have fun watching a tutorial, but hope it helped. And if it did, hit that like. If you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of Techie Tips. See you then.